Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for coming in and tuning into the Dr. Pat Show. I am filling in for Dr. Pat, and my name is Artie Hoffman, and uh, I am a uh, psychic and a medium, and I've been doing it for 27 years, and I've read for thousands of people, and I have a show also with my partner Sky, who's very talented as a psychic and a medium, and we're with Angels and Answers on Thursdays between. Five and seven, and uh, I am. I was very thrilled when um, when uh, Dr. Pat asked me to uh, do her show, and um, yeah, it, it's very very cool. And uh, you know, a lot of people just recently have been asking me, and so therefore I'm going to say what I'm, I'm about to say. They've been asking me as far as how I got started, and you know, everybody has their own shtick, as you might say, uh, as far as how they get how they got started or, you know, what got them interested. And uh, for me, it happened 27 years ago. Um, I got something in the junk mail, (laughs) believe it or not. And it said, how would you like to develop your psychic abilities and intuitiveness? Come to the Edgar Casey Foundation in Virginia Beach for this one weekend seminar. And I looked at it and I said, huh, that's interesting. You know, because to myself, I'm thinking either you had it or you didn't. I didn't know that you could actually learn how to do, you know, what I do. And so um, I asked my wife, who was my wife at the time, if if she wanted to join me. And she says, no, I don't care about that. She goes, you know, you can go if you want. So, um, and and the funny thing is, so I went, I ended up going. And um, that one weekend literally changed my life forever. And they taught you how to open up your heart and mind to be 100% unconditional. And so, you know, they broke you up into groups, and they said, whatever you get with that person, all right, any thoughts, they said, don't judge it, just share it with the person. They might understand it now, or they might understand it later. And so I would share those thoughts, you know, with, with the person. And most of the people were telling me how accurate I was or that they could relate to just about what I was saying. And I thought this was absolutely amazing because, I mean, this was like discovering plutonium. It's like discovering gold. I just couldn't believe that something like this, this exists, that you could, that people are actually capable of predicting what's going on, predicting what's happening in their future, and it's like, it, it was just amazing to me that you could, that this even existed. And I mean, I know other people could do it, but for me to be able to do it myself, and when I tell you I had zero, I had zero percent, I had nothing. And, you know, I used to go for readings like once or twice a year since I was, I don't know, maybe about 20 years old. And, uh, you know, like I said, like maybe once a year, once, you know, a couple of times uh, here and there. And people would tell me, and you know, the psychics would tell me, he says, you know, Artie, you have to get, you, you're able to do this. And I couldn't see squat. I couldn't relate to it. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Just tell me about my business and my love life. That's all I cared about. You know, mostly about money and my, and my career. And that's all I cared about. And, uh, and then lo and behold, this came to me. You know, and I, and I figured to myself, you know, I'm having a little conversation with God. I said, God, I get the picture. This is what I'm meant to do. And, um, you know, I didn't. You didn't have to kill me, put me in a near-death experience, and then bring me back, and then all of a sudden I have the gift. <laughs> because a lot of, believe it or not, a few of my friends actually did have near-death experiences, and um, you know, and and they came back with the gift, and uh, you know, and that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, or to be born into it, I wasn't born into it, and nobody in my family has what I have, and um, you know, I was raised in a Jewish family. 
and um, you know rose with values, uh, you know raised with the uh, values of uh, the Jewish background, and so. Here I am. I'm having a conversation with Goomba Johnny, who was one of the more famous DJs in New York City back in the day. So here I am. I'm having a, a nice lunch with him. And he looks at me. He stops, you know, and he looks at me with a smile. You know, after he's asking me all these questions about, you know, about my experiences and stuff. And he goes to me and he said, look at you, Artie Hoffman psychic, Jew with a clue. And I could not stop laughing. I said, I'm going to use that catchphrase. He goes, go ahead. He goes, it's my pleasure. So we were both laughing about it. And then he goes, WWWJEW all the time. And again, I'm laughing hysterically because he's also a stand-up comic. So, you know, so it's interesting that, you know, all of my other friends who are psychic and mediums, um, I, there's, I don't know if there's any, if I have any Jewish friends who do what I do. But in any case, I feel very, very blessed uh, to have such a gift and, and to help other people. And the thing is, I used to, um, you know, I used to want to, to be a therapist, you know, going throughout school. I always felt that I was good with people. And, um, but I didn't have the patience for books. I was never a scholastic person. I was the class clown. And um, I was the person you know, who made everyone feel good. And I, I was very empathetic to other people. Um, but I wouldn't call myself intuitive because I couldn't predict the future or, you know, I would just give people really good advice. And so here I am thinking, God, how great that would be if I could be a therapist. Cause I am also a life coach in all ways. And, um, I said, how great that would be. But again, I didn't have the patience or, or the background or the money for all this college and stuff. It just wasn't who I was. And then I get this thing sent to me in the mail. You know, you know they always say there is no such thing as a coincidence. And, and I believe that everything really does happen for a reason. And um, so, I, and I never, you know, went to college. Well, actually, I did tell people, I would tell a lot of people, I went to the University of Boston and the University of Maryland. But that was just to visit my friends. <laughs> that wasn't. That was to screw around and have fun. They, they, they're the ones who who did all the scholastics, not me. So the interesting thing is, after reading person after person after person, um, I was doing it for the fun of it for the first few years. And um, after the first few years, you know, I got to a point in my life where I needed more money, uh, other than doing what I was doing, and so. You know, I'm, I'm laying back on my couch. I'm sitting there. I go, what can I do? Because I, I put myself in a financial pinch. And then all of a sudden I said to myself, I said, you want to know something? And I said, self, you want to know something? I said, I know how to do readings. And, but I didn't want the pressure of money to get the best of me. So um, I put an ad in the paper, and it said, you know, I said, I'll do you a psychic reading or a medium reading. And I said, if I don't pull through, no charge. So I didn't want people to think that I was ripping them off. And I didn't want to, you know, put the pressure on myself about all this money now that I was asking for. Because I never made this kind of money before. I was used to physically working for everything that I got. And now I was able to give people, you know, advice. And uh, they were willing to pay me for it. So um, 90% of the people ended up paying me. And um, I'll tell you what a trip this is, uh, because I, I was so blessed uh, that that I was able to, uh, I almost want to say pull this off, uh, because, you know, I just learned just to sit there and listen to, to voices in my head. And I promise you, I'm not going schizophrenia, uh, <laughs> but um, I, would list, I would sit there and listen to voices in my head. And then also I would see images that would just randomly come to me. And also, I hear songs in my head. So whatever the song is about, that's what was going on with the person. So I've learned just to trust my first gut instinct and share it with the person. And I do record all my sessions because people cannot understand or appreciate everything that I'm saying in the moment. So, you know, I've learned just to, you know, um, say what's on my mind. Uh, there's no interruption. Everything is recorded. Because I want to be the kind of person that backs up what I say. 
So for anybody who says, oh, you know, um, you know, I don't like to record or, you know, whatever. For me personally, I feel like people who don't like to record, um, it's just because they're afraid that they're going to say something and they're going to be wrong. So, um, and that's what I get. What does this say? Uh, that's what I get. Uh, bu- 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 bu. So what happened was people, like I said, people were paying me and I started making a living at doing this. And then all of a sudden one of my friends came up to me and says, Hey, you know, would, you know, I, would you like to do an arty party? And, uh, and I, and, and, and she said, you know, I'll get a bunch of my friends together. And so I, I agreed. And I said, all right, I'll give it a shot. I said, I'm not sure what the charge is. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. So here I am telling people a bunch of stuff. And I was only praying that I was going to be right because I felt like a little schoolboy just telling white lies, like I'm just telling you stuff at the top of my head. And what happened is that days and weeks later, people started calling me, texting me, emailing me, and saying, hey, already this came true, that came true, this came true. And I said, oh, thank God, you know, things started, you know, pulling through. And then um, before you know it, thousands of people later, I'm healing people, I'm reading for people, connecting to people's loved ones who passed away. And now I have therapists who come see me. And like I said, I, I just feel so incredibly blessed to be put in this position. And, and I thank God every day for such a beautiful blessing. And then I'm able to help heal people and give people advice. And it doesn't come from me. It comes from the Holy Spirit. So when people say, hey, Art, that was great. You were right. You did this right. You did that right. And you said this and you said that. And they came true. I almost feel bad. I don't feel bad, but I feel humbled because it didn't. You know, the answers were given to me. You know, it, it's like you getting a straight A, a hundred. And the reason why you got a straight A and a hundred, because all the answers were given to you. That's how I felt. But stay tuned, everybody, because I got to go to a commercial break and I'm going to be right back right after this commercial break. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego-generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. 
Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author, has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit toolstoawaken.com today. I'm just out to find the better part of me. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. All right. Welcome back, everybody. You're with Artie Hoffman. I'm with uh, the Dr. Pat Show, filling in for her. And it is my great pleasure to be here with you. Um, You know, today's topic was about, you know, texting and emailing. And uh, what I wanted to say, there's a lot of miscommunication what goes on when somebody texts somebody or somebody emails someone. If you don't put the emotions behind your words or where you're coming from, it could easily be misinterpreted. And that has happened to all of us, where sometimes you're sending out a message very nonchalantly, and the other person is taking it very wrongly, very harshly, and because they're not in the same frame of mind that you're in. It's like, you know, you could be busy multitasking, and you just want to get a point across, and it might come off a little curt, or, you know, or vice versa. You're coming off very endearing and loving, and then the other person responds very quickly and sharply, and you're thinking, like, what's their problem? Or, you know, but like I said, if you don't explain your intentions or your emotions behind your words, it's easily misinterpreted, and a lot of arguments happen that way. So, um, and what's, what I find to be interesting is that as soon as texting came out, you know, a lot of people, they don't like to talk much on the phone. They just want to get their point across, and that's it. And for that reason alone, I love it. You know, if you, and, and I'm the type of person, if I don't have quality time and quality energy to speak with somebody on the phone, you know, on a personal note, then I'll let it go into voicemail because I need to have that kind of energy to be able to speak with somebody because we all have those people that when they call, they could like just suck your energy dry and it's like, oh, them again or, oh my God. And so again, don't feel it necessary to have to take every single phone call that comes in, you know, get, let it go into voicemail or get back to them when you have the quality time and energy so that you could, you know, properly talk to them or that they're not sucking your energy dry. So that's probably the healthiest thing to do. And like I said, with texting and email, oh, my God, there's so much misinterpretation that goes on. And, you know, and I always tell people, if you're going to write somebody a long email or, you know, you have a lot of thoughts to get across, so you need to send out an angry letter or you want to state something very clear, very hard, don't send out the first draft because you're going to regret it. You want to, like, read it, reread it again second time, wait a half a day to a day, reread it again, and get all your thoughts out. And is it in the way that it's coming out? And will the person be able to take your thoughts and your feelings in, your, in the way that you mean to say it? Because, again, if you come off in a way where, you know, you're, you're, coming, you're trying to be diplomatic, you're trying to be, you know, nice, you're trying to, you know, express yourself, but if you don't properly take the time, and given the other person's disposition or how sensitive they are, or, you know, or maybe their disposition is angry. Maybe they're too sensitive. Maybe they're very soft. So there's a way to deliver a message via text or via email. So, so make sure that when you get your thoughts across that you're really delivering, you know, from your heart and that they're going to take it from the way that you really mean it without attacking them. Because if you're attacking somebody, their defensive walls are going to go up and you're really not going to get through to them. But, uh, Vinny, we have a caller on the line, correct? We do. We'll take Sharon calling in from Renton. Sharon, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me on your show. Um, I I know this is just going to be old, old, old for you, but um, my husband passed away two years ago, and we really had a companionable relationship for 30 years. So we were very close, and I miss him like the Dickens. I would like mm-hmm. to have another companion, and I don't. But I don't think I want to get married. So, but um, I just wondered what you see in that way, and uh, maybe if you have a little hint. Uh, other, I don't do the internet or uh, online dating or anything. So, 
Well, lucky for you that love is one of my biggest fortes. I mean, I'm pretty intuitive in all ways, but I'm very, very good at predicting future loves for people. And um, I just want you to know that what you have to be very careful as far as who you're allowing into your life in the next go-around because just because someone's available or just because you have that physical attraction with them, it doesn't mean that um, they're the ones for you, all right? Um, or maybe you could test it out by a date or two because I keep on hearing a train wreck. I keep on hearing reckless. And I'm seeing you allowing yourself to be with somebody whose past is like a train wreck. And you have to be very, very careful on who you allow into your life. And you'll be able to know within the first date or two whether or not, you know, if this is the one. Um, this person who I see in your life, he's a little older than you. Um, he's, he's into wearing flannel shirts. He does have a very charming personality. Um, and as far as, wait, I keep on hearing asking for favors. Oh, he has a habit of asking for little favors also. You know, okay. um, I, I don't see him shifting gears much uh, in his demeanor. Um, your husband is perfectly fine, though, with you being with somebody. Um, he'd rather see you uh, with somebody and be happy than to be alone and be miserable. Right. And he says that to you un unconditionally. Um, there's something about the month of February that's very significant. Um, was this, was this um, I'm seeing middle of February, was this the time that you met your husband? What's so significant about the middle of February? Oh, yes, it was exactly when we met uh, in 1985. Oh, yeah. Well, your husband is surrounding you with lots of loving energy right now, and he 100% adores you. He wants you to keep on talking to him. He says you, you know that he knows that you talk to him on a daily basis. And yes. as a matter of fact, when you take a shower, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like you probably felt like a nudge or a push or something while you were taking a shower. Oh, well, that's news. <laughs> I don't think um, there's another girl. <laughs> hey, um, I know a friend of mine who I've known for many years, and and since John's been gone, uh, we've been hanging around a little bit. Uh, he he is actually the way you describe. He's, he's, uh, he's really not for me, and he is kind of a train wreck, and... Uh, and I know that he's not uh, Mr. Wonderful, so. Um, but do I know this person that I'm well, going put it to? This way. Yeah, you know what? This is the person who I was describing. Now, let right. me say this to you. I said to you, I described the fellow who I saw in your life or who was coming into your life. See, this is the only part. You know, it's the funny thing is a lot of times I think I'm describing someone's future love, and they're saying, no, that's my ex-husband. <laughs> Oh, that's my ex-boyfriend. That dude. I said, all right, so now i got to talk to the universe, right? Push us forward. So what I'm seeing is, is don't allow yourself to get too complacent with this fella because I see yourself going into a comfort zone because he's somebody. Right. So that's allow... exactly that's the way I feel, you know. But, right, I understand. But right now, as, as I am talking to you right now, the angels are clearly showing me that if you start allowing yourself to go to some kind of church function or some kind of spiritual function, that you're going to end up meeting a really, really nice fella. And it's okay. somebody who's very genuine, somebody who's very laid back, somebody, um, you know, he doesn't have, you know, he's just a very simpleton type of person, but a very friendly fella with a great smile. And I see this person coming into your life, but you just need to be around where there's spiritual groups or religious, uh, some kind of religious chamber of some sort, and um, or a temple or church or something, this is where you're going to end up meeting the person, and uh, he's going to ask you out for a cup of coffee or something. What if I don't go to church? Well, I'm not affiliated be, with a church. I said to you, uh, it could be uh, any place of some kind of a religious gathering or a spiritual gathering. Um, I'm just saying to you, you said, do I see somebody? And the angels are clearly showing me that any kind of a function that her church might be putting on. It could be a rummage sale. It could be bingo. It could be, 
there's something, an event where church or temple is going. They could be outdoor events. There's something connected with this where I, let's just say, if you don't go, you don't have to go. All I'm saying is this is an opportunity for you. Oh, that's a, that's a blessing. I am happy to hear that. And I can certainly figure something out that way. All right. So thank um, you very thank much you. for your help. Uh, it was my pleasure. Thank you for calling, Sharon. Yeah, thanks, Sharon. If you'd like to join us, it's uh, 888-298-5569 or 425-373-5527. Already just a minute and a half right before our next break, if you have something to wrap up before our yeah bottom of the hour. Yeah, you know what? It was funny. There was, you know, she, Her name is Sharon, and I met a girl not too long ago, and her name was Cheyenne. Hmm. And I thought that was the most beautiful name. And I said to her, I said, wow, that is such a cool name. And she looks at me with a smile. She goes, yeah, my mother gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> That's awesome. You know? And so then I go to, I went to an all-women's uh, clothing store. This is going back a few years ago. And uh, I'm at an all-women's clothing store uh, with my wife, who was my wife at the time. And so, you know, of course, there's no men's section whatsoever. So I was joking around with the sales girl. So I said to her, I said, excuse me, I go, where's the men's section? And she pointed over, and she says, it's over by the cash register. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny, too. But all right, everybody, listen, uh, stick around. I'm going to do some more reading for you if you wish to call in. And um, we'll talk some more stuff about emailing and texting and the importance of communication. So stick around, and I'll be right back right after this commercial break. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. When we become aware of a choice, it is not accidental. It is our opportunity to transform. It's about becoming our higher vibrational selves. We tend to get alarmed and hide our heads in the sand when something new shows up in our awareness. That's all right. But today, let's become aware of our desire, recognize the block, and make a choice to step through it. Often, we want the circumstance to change before we change. See, it's the other way around. If you find resistance, maybe it's time for some support. If you're ready to shift into your best life, visit LeslieFontaine.com and let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. You'll find sessions, classes, and audio products to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Sheer Alchemy, on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Have you ever tried to make lifestyle changes but had difficulty following through? Imagine what it would be like to get up each morning with energy, clarity, and motivation to tackle the day. If you want to get past limiting barriers that are preventing you from living your best life, join holistic health and wellness coach T. Carrie Mitchell each month on The Dr. Pat Show. Or visit Lifestyle120.com today and start to receive the personal attention you deserve. Abundance Takes Flight continues for the month of May. If you missed the extraordinary event in person, you will not want to miss this video. Make a donation to ShareWheel 
via AbundanceTakesFlight.org. That's AbundanceTakesFlight.org. And receive your life-changing video from Lynn M. Brown. Eight things directly from the mouth of money. You can also view the list of vendors who are gifting 50% off their proceeds to ShareWheel when you mention this ad for the month of May. I'm uh, Artie Hoffman with the Dr. Pat Show. Um, I just wanted everybody to know that um, I am based out of New Jersey myself. And if anybody uh, wanted to come to Woodbridge, New Jersey, uh, not that it's a tourist trap, but <laughs> if you wanted to come to New, uh, New Jersey and get a reading by me, uh, you could feel free to give me a call anytime at 877-ANGEL-02. Um, and check out my website, ArtieHoffman.com, A R T I E. H-O-F-F-M-A-N.com. And you can check out the, the face behind the voice, and it would be my pleasure to do a reading for you. I'm just as accurate over the phone as I am in person, and I also do arty parties. So if you're even out of state, if you're fine, I'm fine, and I'd be more than happy to do a party with uh, you and your friends. And it's always a great time with a girls' night out and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, don't be shy uh, to give me a call. And, uh, again, I'd be more than happy to do a phone reading for you. I also have a very dynamite, uh, talented partner um, on my radio show, uh, Angels and Answers. Her name is Sky Siegel, also an extremely talented medium, and uh, she's very accurate. And her number is 908-500-1474. And, again, my number is 877-ANGEL-02 if you wanted to get a private reading for myself. So, you know, feel free to give me a call. And, uh, again, you can get a recording, you know, by the phone and, uh, or in person. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And the parties are a blast. So, but like I was saying before, you know, I was talking about texting and emailing. You know, a lot of people just uh, do it, you know, really quickly, and, and it's misinterpreted easily. And um, I know people who get very sensitive, like, you know, you'll send out, like, a bunch of X and O's. And then the partner will respond back, XO, or smiley face. It's like, what's that? <laughs> they get offended. I just sent you like five X's and O's and all this hoopla, and then you're just sending me thanks or XO or whatever, and it's like, yo, hello. So, But a lot of people, like I said, they misinterpret your intention behind your, behind your wording. So it's very important to express yourself behind your words so that people could understand, you know, what it is that you're saying. And, uh, oh, God forbid, this happened to me one time. Oh, my God, what a mistake that was. I meant to send a message out to somebody, and I ended up sending it to somebody else. And, oh, my God, I double-checked myself before I send out messages. Um, I always do that. It's a habit I have because that one time I sent a a message that totally belonged to someone else and totally didn't belong to someone else. And uh, that was kind of like a weird situation. So can you, imi- can you imagine you sending out a very promiscuous type of message and then by accident you sent it to one of your siblings or your parents? <laughs> How embarrassing that could be, you know? So, uh, but that's a simple mistake. That's not a uh, misinterpretation other than just making a stupid mistake. So, but right now, I believe we have uh, somebody from, we have a couple of people from New Jersey. Vinny, who do we got from New Jersey? Yeah, we'll take Marianne calling in from Jackson, New Jersey. Marianne, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, Marianne. How are you, sweetheart? I'm doing fantastic. You sound great on, on the radio. <laughs> what was that? I, I said you sound great on the radio. Oh, thank you. Or I appreciate I. that. <laughs> Okay, what yeah, do I know? So I, <laughs> I, uh, I want to know. I'm like kind of in like a career change mode. So I'm just, I have something in mind that I think I want to do, but I, I just, I don't know if it's going to work out. That's what I'm well, trying to what, figure out. Cut, well, I'll tell you what, rather than cutting, let's just cut to the chase. Why don't you tell me your exact situation? I'll tell you exactly what the best scenario is. 
I want to become a substance abuse counselor. And I just, okay. I have no idea how to get started. And I just, you know, it's going to be a lot of work to get there. I just, you know, it, I just have so many questions about it. You want to know something? Um, this is something that, I, and I'm not saying this for my own business purposes, but um, this, you know, is going to inquire. Uh, this is like an all-out reading. And I could give you lots of great advice as far as how to get started with it. Um, as far as going in the right direction, I feel like you are right, going in the right direction. I feel like by this September, it's going to be a good time for you to get started with it as far as going to the proper places. Um, uh, you have to watch out uh, because I'm seeing you being a very empathetic person. And I see you being like an emotional eater. And between you being very empathetic and being an emotional eater, you, you would have to really be super conscientious about keeping on a strict diet and exercise. Otherwise, you're going to end up growing out of your comfort zone. And the emotional toll that it would end up taking on you, it would be a lot. It would definitely be a lot. Now, I also see you getting uh, personally involved with somebody who you'd be counseling, believe it or not. And this person has tattoos on their arms and everything. But all I'm saying is it's not going to be a good choice for you to get involved. Ah, come on. <laughs> not, <it>. with, <laughs> not with your subject is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I'm not saying for you to go, you know, uh, uh, you know, relationship list or sex list or anything like that. Hey, sex list, <laughs> sex list in Seattle, hello. <laughs> this is already up and Dr. Craig talking. So, no, but um, no, but I'm just telling you that you have to learn to properly train yourself emotionally so that you could be the best that you can be. See, when I do a lot of reading for people, you know, like I said, I've been doing it for 27 years. I've read for over 18,000 people. Now, I've learned to, when I'm with somebody, um, emotionally with them, they have my love, they have my attention, they have my energy, they have everything while I am with them, but yet... I don't allow myself to get on their emotional stage. I don't allow myself to get on their personal stage. I just observe them and I listen to the spiritual world so that I could be as good as I could be. So when you're helping out all these other people, you have to allow yourself to be not connected on their personal level. For you to be your best, it's almost like they're in their fox trenches. You cannot go in their fox trenches helping them out or in their, you know, in the burrows. You know, when they're in the big trenches, you have to be like an eagle that flies above them and to guide them. But you can't go in it. And I see you capable of getting lost in other people's stuff. So just by me telling you that, you'll be able to make the necessary adjustments so that you don't get, you know, screwed up by other people's problems, so that you don't get screwed up by other people's karma. Right. No, I, I, I am definitely that type of person. <laughs> yeah, so and, I see that. And, I, and, and it's going to take a lot of work. And, and you are the type of person who wants to help out a lot of people. I totally get that. But at the same token, you know what it's like? Don't you remind me of? It's like a person who's going to be a foster parent, which would be the worst thing in the world for you because you'd be taking on every single kid. You'd have 20 kids running around your house, and you'd be wanting to adopt all of them. And especially yeah. with pets. <laughs> So it's like, no, I can't, you know, I, I want to take care of them. So the thing is you have to have a very special and strong heart to be able to be like a foster parent, to be able to love a kid so much and to give them so much love and attention and energy and then be able to let them go to be with their, you know, their, their uh, family after they get better. And it's very hard. When you develop a, a bonding, loving relationship, it takes a special person. And the same, same thing when it comes to with pets. There are people who will take on, say, uh, eye-seeing dogs, you know, seeing eye dogs. And, you know, yeah. and there are people who are generous enough to give up their home, uh, to give up their time, to be able to give these dogs a home and while they're being trained, and then they have to let them go. So the reason why I'm talking like this is that it takes a special individual to be able to put themselves in a position where you're dealing with a lot of vulnerabilities, and it's okay for you to have a compassionate, loving heart and a strong heart, but you also have to be able to 
know that you need to disconnect. See, and you want to be a good leader, and a good leader helps other people become the best that they could be without you being responsible for doing everything for them. You don't want to do okay. everything for them and we're, we're, they're not responsible for their own life, but you want to help corral them and to guide them to be the best person that they could be. And that's when you're doing the best work. And by you allowing yourself to be a little more intuitive, you're going to get answers that's even beyond your college years or your school years because the spiritual world will give you answers on what's going on behind the person. And it's not just about being scholastic, and it's not just about learning about the education, although that helps a lot, of course. But, I mean, I could do with all what those other people do, but that's only because I've trained my mind to become connected to the spiritual world, and they give me all the advice, and then I just share it with the person. Okay. All right, so well, go thank with you so your much. Dreams. I, I know what i got to do. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, well, all right so thanks, Artie. It's a pleasure sharing time with you, sweetheart. Yes, no, I'll be calling you soon, too. All right, sounds good. All right, everybody, this is Artie Hoffman. I'm filling in for Dr. Pat, so stay tuned because I'm going to be right back right after this commercial break. Thanks. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh, new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T-H-E-D-R patshow.com for listening times in your area. How confident do you feel about your retirement? It's never too early or too late to start thinking about your retirement. Ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Hackman about the exclusive Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step to get to the real answers you need. In fact, 93% of clients who have had the Confident Retirement Approach conversation feel more confident about their retirement. Call Jeff Pakman, Financial Advisor at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601 108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800 in Bellevue, Washington 98004. Percentage based on Ameriprise Financial Confident Retirement Client Survey as of December 2013. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member of FINRA and SIPC. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. All 
right, everybody, welcome back. You're with Artie Hoffman. Me, myself, and I, we're happy to be here with you. Meaning me, me, and me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here I am. I'm uh, doing my thing. Um, that psychic medium guy, that crazy guy, that funny guy, all that good stuff. And um, I, I, I just personally wanted to thank Dr. Pat for uh, having me on her show. And, um, yeah, it, it's just, it's great. I love being on the air with you guys and uh, any way that I could help. I, you know, it, it's, it really is. It's, it's a great pleasure. Um, you, you know something? Somebody just asked me uh, the other day um, about, you know, if, if you're so spiritual and it's God's gift, you know, who gave this to you, then, you know, why do you charge people or why do you charge so much? Which I, I, I don't feel like I charge a lot. I feel like I charge a modest amount, especially to some other people. Um, so don't be afraid to call. <laughs> yeah, my number is 877-ANGEL-02 if you want to get a hold of me personally. And so my answer to them is that, you know, I'm able, if I'm able to make a living at doing what I do, that means my time is more available to help out the public. Now, I'm no medical doctor, and I'm no veterinarian, and I didn't go to school as far as, uh, or college, you know, to be a therapist. But what I do is I put myself in this meditative state of mind. And the spiritual world, who knows all the answers, they feed my, my heart and soul with all the answers of what's going on. And I have given people medical advice, and I've had uh, people, you know, I've given people uh, answers as far as emotionally in their relationships and in every which facet. You know, you name the topic I've given information to. But it's not because of me. It's because the, the spiritual world is gracious enough to allow me to be able to, to give them the answers. And it's such a blessing to be put in this position, I, I can't begin to tell you. But it's not that I'm just the lucky one or one of the few lucky ones who do what I do. You also have to understand, it's not that who does God choose to speak to, but who chooses to listen. You know, because I believe that God listens to everybody, and then people just aren't open to, to receiving the messages or the signs. So the only difference between myself and you, if, you're, if you don't consider yourself a psychic or a medium, the only difference between me and you is that I've learned to pay attention to my first gut instincts. And when you can pay attention to your first gut instincts without judging, then you're going to be a great psychic or a great medium. And you share the information. And a lot of people might challenge me, and they'll say, no, no, that's never going to happen, or I don't see that, or you're crazy. And I just stop the person in, the, in their tracks, and I look at them right in their face, and I said, look, I'm not looking for your approval. I'm telling you my gut instincts, and this is what I see. Now, just because I make a prediction, what I call them is prediction of probabilities, because certain things are written in stone from hell to high water, they're going to happen. But then there's other times where when I give you information, it doesn't mean it's 100% going to happen, most likely, because you could change things. You know, so sometimes people will ask me, Artie, well, what will happen with my relationship? So I tell them, you know, or they might have a decision between this person or another person. So I say to them, well, listen, if you choose to go with this person, this is what you're going to experience. And if you choose to go with this other person, this is what you're going to experience. If you choose to go to counseling with your husband, then this is what you're going to experience. And if you choose to leave them both, this is what's going to happen. And she'll say to me, well, which do you see me doing? And I'll give her my advice as far as what I think the healthiest choice is. But then I say to her, I don't know what your choice is because that's your free will. I just told you what to expect based on your personal choices. So some things are black and white I could give answers to, and other things, it, you know, you come across a spider web of opportunities of, of what could be. You know? So a lot of people have a hard time taking responsibility for their own choices. You know? And um, even though I'm a psychic and I'm a medium and I love all your business and I love you know, to uh, help out a lot of people, but even with me saying that, don't become a psychic junkie where you're going from person to person to person to person once a week or once every other week or whatnot. You have to live your life and you have to take responsibility for your choices. And it's the same thing with friends. If you listen to what, what do you feel in your heart and soul? You can't listen to everybody else, all right, because your feelings and your opinions count just as much as everyone else. And just because they can't see things from your point of view or through your eyes, 
it doesn't mean that you're wrong or if they're knocking you down for your dreams or your goals or what you want to do. If you feel that strong enough in your heart uh, to do something, then that's what you got to do. And who knows? It might be a mistake. But you want to know something? At least you're going to learn from your mistake. But you still got to live your life to be the best person that you could be. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to screw up because that's how you're going to learn. It's all about building your character, you know. And then who knows? Maybe you're going to prove everybody wrong. But you're not doing what you're doing to prove everybody wrong. You're doing it because this is what feels right for me. So when you're living a happy life or you're living a successful life, then that's how you're proving everybody wrong. You're not doing it with the intent, I want to prove you wrong. You're doing it because this is who you are. You know, and, you know, there's a definition of a genius that I read a long, long time ago. And the definition is this. If you could see a target that nobody else could see, and then you hit a bullseye, that's the definition of a genius. You see something that other people can't appreciate or they can't see, but you feel it in your heart and you see it, and then you end up hitting a bullseye. That's genius. But if I listen to my parents and I've listened to other people while I was growing up, oh, are you crazy or nuts? What are you doing? You know, let me tell you something. I definitely would not be here right now uh, talking to all of you because I listened to what everybody else said. Because everyone else, or most people, live in a fear-based mindset, and we live in a fear-based society. So people are afraid to take risks. People are afraid to take chances. And I'm not that person. I'm not afraid to take uh, chances. But then there's calculated risks. You just don't want to go way, way out there and leave yourself with nothing just in case. But at the same token, if you want to get ahead in life, you're going to have to take the chance. And it's as simple as that. And, Nick, we have uh, somebody on the line right now. I mean, oh, we have Nick on the line, right? Yeah, Jersey we'll make Pitt. it pretty quick. Nick, uh, we'll make it pretty quick there. And, uh, Nick, welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing? Okay, Nick, I apologize. I only have a couple of minutes to go, so go ahead. Shoot. All right. Uh, well, I'm 17. I live in Jackson. And uh, at age 13, I uh, lost my friend uh, to brain cancer. And, uh, sadly, um he wasn't buried, and he was cremated, and uh, there's no, no no place to really go to, you know, talk or, you know, let my feelings go. And I haven't really been able to let go of that yet and, his, you know, his death. So I just wanted to know where to go from there and, you know, how to move on in the future, you know. You want to know something? I'm going to do you a personal favor right now. Because I'm running out of time and I know this is very important to you, I'm going to do you a favor. I want you to email me, artiehoffman at gmail, and just give me a couple of days to respond to you, and um, I, I will answer your question in full, and I'll give you a peace of mind, and, uh, and, and I'll do that for you. Awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Just go to artiehoffman at gmail, A-R-T-I-E-H-O-F-F-M-A-N, uh, at gmail. Uh, also, you check out my website, everybody, Hoffman. Uh, dot com, and uh, I have a bunch of videos there. Uh, YouTube, please like it and check it out. Uh, check out my, you could uh, friend me, all that good stuff. But uh, Nick, it will be my pleasure to help you out and give you peace of mind and closure. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right, dude. You take care. All right, everybody, listen up. Um, from my mouth to God's ears, may God bless you all with lots of love, health, prosperity, and happiness. And just know that God loves you unconditionally, regardless of all your choices. The angels are always there listening to you. You know, if, if you want to achieve, you have to believe. So, you know, just put your heart out there and, and just know that your words are being listened to. And when you speak to your loved ones who have passed away, I promise you, I promise you, they hear you. So keep talking to them and don't be afraid to ask for signs. And hopefully, maybe until another time, everybody, which I'm sure I will, you have a great day, have a great week, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon.